In 2004, I was at an auction. It was a general auction in Dorchester, a lovely little auction house which sadly is no longer with us called Jeff's. And in this auction was a camera, and I didn't know an awful lot about this camera. It looked like a Ray Reflex, but it wasn't a Ray Reflex. It was, from my point of view, a Ray Reflex copy, and it was called a Yashica Mat. And I didn't know too much about the camera, but I bid on it, and I think I bought it for either 40 or 60 pounds. And it turned out to be one of the best buys I've ever bought. Um, it was a camera I really enjoyed using, got some really good images from it. Unfortunately, the one I had eventually basically wore out the gears. There is a slight problem with the Yashica gears. Um, they, they are basically made from a polymer and they can, um, if they aren't regularly used, they sort of seize up and they aren't as functional. But apart from that, these are brilliant cameras. Let me tell you about the Yashica mat. The mat apparently stood for the autom it's not automatic, but the crank rind on was um, thought to be an automatic form of rind on, um, and that's where the word mat apparently comes from for these. And they began to make them in 1959, and it's a, basically a copy of the Rolly Flats. And the classic Rolly Flats was a camera which came out um, in the 1930s a little bit earlier, um, twin lens reflex, and it transformed photography because the cameras before had been very large, but these were moderately small, gave you two and a quarter square or six by six negatives, really high quality, and they got used by professional photographers who had previously or only used plate cameras, and people like Cecil Beaton and Lee Miller and a lot of press photographers used Ray Reflexes. So this was a cheaper version of the Ray Reflex. The Ray Reflex was always an expensive camera. And the Japanese had a really good reputation of taking really good designs and basically reproducing them. And here we have the Yashica mat. So we have the twin lens here. We have the taking lens is a uh, Yashishan um, 3.5. 3.5 is moderately fast for two and a quarter. We have no meter on the camera, but we have the aperture and that's the aperture being set here and the shutter speed here. So when we look down, we can see on the top here there's a small window here, and that window gives us the um, shutter and the aperture. So when we are using the camera, we can see what we are shooting at, what we are shooting at shutter speed and what we are shooting at um, on the um, aperture. Focusing's on the side here. So all the controls are so easily at hand. So loading the film, open at the bottom here, um, film goes in there, over the top there, and we wind to the red dot here. Close. Um, and as I said, focus, aperture, shutter speed, press, and wind off. I've only got one complaint about this camera. Well, apart from the fact that my original one broke, but my only compl other complaint is when you wind on, you wind on, but you've, if you don't put the crank back, it won't take, which I think is supposed to be a safety feature, but it's really annoying. You take a photograph, wind on, it stops, and you see something, you want to press it, and it doesn't take unless you put it back. Apart from that, I think it's a super camera. Let's see how this performed when I took it out. As I indicated, I was really excited about taking this camera out because it's a camera I've really enjoyed using in the past. But this 
first film I was slightly disappointed with it and I couldn't quite work out right and it just didn't seem as sharp or as clear and I did another film and realised the problem was the shutter of this particular model is running slow and it's in fact over exposing and I'm getting camera shake and this happened on quite a few of the photos so these photos were actually taken on the Yashica mat which was exactly the same model but a Yashica mat I had about five years ago and I wanted to show these photographs because I want to show you what a good camera this actually can be. Um, a good Yashica mat can be incredibly sharp, very clear, really nice to use and you can see I did a whole project on what we call finger posts and finger posts are basically Dorset signposts and they are supposed to have a rondel at the top of the post which will give you the location and the grid reference. The problem with this round rondel um, and all these I'm showing you now the round rondel has actually been snapped off. Um, unfortunately people are inclined to take them for souvenirs of the Dorset landscape. Um, and even on this one it's been snapped up but you get a really nice they are still lovely signposts and the Dorset and Somerset place names like um, up Siddling, um, Southern Abbots are all good signs. Now I've enjoyed using this camera shame about this actual model but thanks for watching hope to see you again soon bye